The idea of Meet the Mathematicians is to take 150 Year 12, Year 13 students out of the classroom. To come into universities and to really experience the vitality and excitement that is mathematics. Enable students to see the kind of things that you can do with a mathematics degree, see the kind of people and the work that they're doing. We've run over four years. We started off at Manchester in 2008. We've then been to uh, Nottingham, to Edinburgh and now here to Birmingham this year. We have some great talks and uh, what we're keen to do is to have uh, a session that uh, lets students see the kind of careers that uh, they can follow having studied a mathematical sciences degree at uh, university. I would argue that, that was one of the most important mathematical calculations ever made. Yeah, my talk's about the history of radar and the way that mathematics actually led to the invention of radar and without mathematical calculations, radar would never have happened and we would have probably lost the war as a result. The mathematical relay is an interesting way of getting students of this age to do mathematics. The basic concept is that uh, students should pass on answers to each other through rounds of four, rather like handing on the baton in the traditional relay, except here the baton is a mathematical answer. It's really interesting, I think, and it makes you think a lot about what you're doing. And it's about teamwork. So the blood vessels bring oxygen, but when they get into the cancer cells, the cancer cells compress the blood vessels and so shut down the oxygen, but that then leads to more chemicals being sent out to make more blood vessels. So today I'll be talking about how we can use mathematical models, mathematical equations to look at modelling the growth of cancers and solid tumours to show that maths has real serious applications in the real world. It's been really good. The lectures have been really interesting, very engaging. An interesting experience to get the idea of what a lecture would be like when I go to do a maths degree, hopefully in September. You get to meet lots of people and you get to talk to mathematicians who you don't normally get the chance to talk to. I'm going to be talking about Fermat's last theorem, maybe the most notorious problem in the history of maths. And it was developed, uh, invented and supposedly solved by Pierre de Fermat. He wrote it in Latin, I'll translate it into English. The English says, I have a truly marvellous demonstration of this proposition which this margin is too narrow to contain. So my talk today is uh, not a mathematical one, it's about what sort of careers a mathematics degree can lead on to. So I'm looking to explain to people the sorts of possibilities that can open up if you're taking a, uh, a degree in mathematics. This wouldn't work without mathematics, this wouldn't work, your mobile phone wouldn't work. So I'm going to try and show how very simple mathematics can shed light on all sorts of unusual things that happen in sport. So for example, we're familiar with tightrope walkers in circuses or walking between high buildings. Why do they always carry long poles? So this is not about centre of gravity. Uh, it's about something a little bit different. It's about inertia. Today was a fantastic day, I think it went really well. It was great to see uh, around 150 students here on, on campus at the university. I think that it's been full of uh, fun and excitement and uh, the speakers did uh, a great job. Some great questions as well coming from the students. Really interesting to see the interaction between the postgraduates, between the students themselves. Next year we're at University College London. London's a great venue and hopefully we'll pick up a, as many um, youngsters as we had this year. And we encourage all of the parents to come along too to see what mathematics is like and to get a taste of a living subject. Yeah.